Hey y'all. I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm just knitting up some hats. Working on um, projects to take to the craft fair that Dakota and I are going to participate in October the 20th. I don't really know what kind of items people will be looking for, but I'm just trying to take all kinds of different things just to see. Right now I'm making, um, the last couple of days I've been working on just regular hats, you know, that close up on the top, and then I hope maybe tomorrow I'm going to start making some messy bun hats. So I'll have a little few more of those to take. I do have some already made, both hats and messy bun hats, but just trying to, you know, get a assortment of colors for people to choose from. I know for the regular hats, I do want to get a white and a brown made. I was trying to get the basic colors, um, some neutral colors that people, you know, like gray, brown, black, white, and then do some fun colors. So I've got a few here, and I have some in a box already. And then messy bun hats. I think I need, I have a few fun colored ones, so I need to get some made up in some neutral colors. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I've heard lots and lots of good things about this this particular craft fair that we're going to participate in. Um, not, I haven't heard from anyone that take takes knitting or crochet, but other people that have taken things always do really well, and I hear people saying they sell out. I don't really expect that to happen. I'm not going in with that mindset, but I do hope to sell a good bit to make it worth my while. I have a lot of inventory to take, about five or six totes full of things, so I'll take it all and just put it out as I can and see what happens. Dakota has t-shirts uh, with Louis a Louisiana emblem on the front, one that has Louisiana with flowers, and one than one that has Louisiana and it has a, like a wood grain vinyl to go on it. And then he also does uh, wooden signs with different little sayings and such. So he needs to get his projects finished up. And my friend that we're going to join in her booth, she sells honey. She's the bee lady. And she raises bees, um, rents out beehives to different farms and places. So she will have jars of honey. So I made up some little bees to go buy her jars of honey. I have a little bee with two stripes. And then I have some bees with one wide stripe. I have about, I think I have five of those made. So, and then I, I did a few little baby bee hats. I need to put the antennas on them. I would like to have time to make some baby bee shoes, but I don't know that I'm going to have time. I might, I might be able to make one pair. <laughs> Oh, it's been pouring down rain here today. Elijah headed to work this morning and got near work. And then the owner of the pumpkin patch texted out and said that uh, they would be closed due to the rain today. Which I wondered that when I woke up this morning and it was raining. I, I knew it had rained all yesterday evening and most of the night. So I wondered if they were going to be able to be open today. 
I'm sure, you know, kids would love to come and just muck through the mud and have fun. <laughs> anyway, but um, adults might not enjoy that as much. So he unexpectedly got the day off. Um, I'd like to plan something with him today. I did look to see if there was any movies playing that both of us would enjoy together, but um, I didn't see anything that would interest both of us. So I don't know. We may just hang out or we may end up doing something. I'll ask him in a little while what does he want to do today. This hat that I'm making is a simple hat. Easy, easy to make. It seems to go fast for me. It is, I'm making it on the 36, but I also make the same hat on the 41 peg loom. But the brim of the hat is, on this particular hat, is E-Wrap 1, Pearl 1. E-Wrap 1, Pearl 1, just all the way around. And then the rows are done in sets of four. And here's a hat I can show you on because it's easier to see because I actually changed colors every four rows. So it was an ear out pearl brim. And then the first row is ear out. The second row is pearl one, ear out one. Third row, ear out. Fourth row, ear out. And then you just repeat those. And I'm not sure where I got that pattern. I've I've been using that for um, a couple of years now. So I'm not sure where I originally got that pattern. And I hate that I can't tell you or give that person credit. But I just can't think of where I got that. If anyone knows, they can link that below so that we can all know and give that person credit. Uh, sometimes I make a U-Wrap Pearl Rib Stitch brim, but on um, I was making these for definitely for adults, so I was making an E-Wrap Pearl, so it has more stretch. But it's a really simple hat. It's, it works out really quick, especially when you're changing colors. It just seems to go so fast. And I made this one purple and gold because LSU, I'm not a football person. <laughs> I'm not a football person by any means, but, um, you know, there's everybody else seems to be. This hat is the same thing, E-Route Pearl Brim. And then I did five pearls, five E-Routes, five Pearl, five E-Route. And just repeat it until I got to the length I wanted. And you can see I still need to put my tails in. But this goes back to that first pattern I was talking about. E-Route Pearl Brim. And like I said, sometimes I use U-Route Pearl, depending on who the hat's for. I was trying to make these definitely for adults. Because I do have some kids' hats made. And then, you see the texture that that pattern gives. I love that. So it's, again, I'll just say it one more time. It's four rows that you repeat until you get to the length of your hat. The first row is e wrap Row two is Pearl 1, e wrap 1. Third row is e wrap And fourth row is e wrap And I'd love to give the person credit who came up with that. Because I really do like the texture that it gives hats. See that? This is kind of a seafoam green. It's not really showing up on the that. It's a little. It's more greenish. And I have a hat one. These are just hats that I've made in the last two days here at my desk. This gray. I really think this makes a nice hat. I love the texture and it's really stretchy. It's not just, I mean, it goes fast making this hat because, you know, most of the rows are e wrap. You just have that um, 
every you know once in every four rows you're gonna have that pearl and e-wrap so it really goes fast it's nice texture if you can see it in the black and then here's a bluish gray I thought would look good with blue jeans so I made that one and I have a few more I'd like to make um, definitely one in white and brown I was trying to get definitely black gray white and brown to have some neutral colors and then trying to do some fun colors and I'm gonna use that same pattern oh for this particular hat I'm doing six of the four rows like I do row I do my section one I'll just show you what I'm doing I'm doing like section one and I do it the four rows section two four rows three on up and I'm doing it six rows so I mean six sections of the four rows and then I write them down as I'm going and then when I make another hat I just kind of slash them as I go through so that's what I've been working on and the hat I'm on right now I'm only on the second section just gonna do the fourth row So anyway, it's a nice hat. It goes pretty quick. When you do, when I'm changing colors, it seems to go even faster. I know it's not. I know it takes the same amount of time, but it just seems to go faster. If you've done a craft booth at a um, craft show with knitting items, you know, comment below and tell me what you've made that um, you felt like was a good seller. I would like to have time to make some snowman hats, uh, turkey hats, and the Santa face hats. So I made those last year and although I didn't do a craft booth, I just sold them um, out of my car as I was doing going about my business. Everybody knew that I had hats and I'd say I would post on Facebook that I'm gonna be in town this is where I'm going. If you want to meet up, let me know. And people would just meet up with me to get hats. So I sold all the ones I made last year of those. So I'd like to have time to make a few of those for this fair. I have scarves that I need to finish up. Like, they're character scarves with faces on them. So the scarves are made. I just got to go back and do the faces. And like I said, I want to make some messy bun hats. Um, I have a few more projects. I was looking to see what I was over there. <laughs> I have a few more projects that I need to just finish up. Pull some yarn out. I don't know if I'll get... I don't know how much more I'll get done. What today's the tenth, and the the show is actually on the twentieth. Maybe if I stay up all night, work all day, and work all night, which is what my husband thinks I do, but I don't. He just doesn't know when I come to bed because <laughs> he's already asleep. <laughs> A lot of times he'll he'll go to bed and he'll come and kiss me goodnight and he'll say don't stay up all night <laughs> oh so yeah I would like to take as much as I can to that craft show not knowing what's gonna interest people and you know, I don't know if people will be buying for themselves, if they'll be buying for Christmas gifts, or what. So, I'd like to just take a variety of stuff. And I have things over here. I don't know how well you can see. This section over here, I have, um, 
some partially made dolls. Like this is a reindeer that is obviously not made. <laughs> I have the parts made. I just got to put it together. This one is an elf. And I believe I have his arms made. I just got to put him together. So these are some things that I probably can get done. I'll probably take um, BB-8 and R2-D2. I'll probably just I'll put them over here because I'll probably tag those and take them. Oh, and here's C-3PO. So those can, three can go. And then I have um, uh, I have some little ornaments that I started. That's gonna be a snowman, a little elf, a Santa. And a reindeer. So these were made on a flower loom. And I think I did about I think I did about ten or twelve rows for the head and probably about fourteen for the body. And I did that on each one of them. Yeah. So I just need to put the pieces together and a face on them. Like, I'm not going to put legs on them. I'm just doing... Am I doing arms? <laughs> like, I think I'm just going to do little arms for them. Like, here's a little hat I made for the snowman. Which, I, I won't do any arms on him. Probably not. Oh, and I made a little hat for the, um, Santa Claus. And then, um, I need to make antlers for the reindeer. So, I only have these four made. If I had another week, <laughs> I would try to make several of those. <laughs> Make about three or four of each one. But I won't have time. I do have a, um, I have a co op day that I can knit while I'm at co op. And I'll have a doctor's appointment day that I can knit while I'm there. I thought on those two days I would just work on scrubbies. Because that's something, you know, you don't have to think about that I could just do in a waiting room or while I'm talking to other people at co-op. And that'll give me, you know, a little stash of scrubbies. My scrubbies have always sold really well. I do them at $3 a piece. So they've always done really well. And... What else? I have some of those um, pot, the pot handle covers that just slip on the handles of your pots. I have some of those made already. And some dishcloths made. So I have a good, you know, a variety of things. I just hope that I have enough items. We'll see. A little nervous about it, but it is what it is. <laughs> I always say that. It is what it is. Dakota got to work on his items that he's taken and 
he actually is going to take the day off from work. He's already put in that he needs that day off. So, we won't have to rush. There's no way I can go and set up on my own. Thankfully, he enjoys doing that type of thing and wants to join in on the booth so we can split it three ways the price of the booth instead of just um, two makes it a little cheaper for all of us so yep you know I'm so, I'm so thankful that I did discover loom knitting uh, few years back I started loom knitting in 2016 I believe yeah in like the um, fall of that year um, our house had flooded I think I've mentioned that a couple of times maybe but and we had just got our house rebuilt and was trying to get back to finding some normal in our life but the the flood really took a huge toll on my body just the stress everything that things like that bring <laughs> it just took a huge toll on my body my health went down so much after that and I wasn't able to just do what little stuff I was able to do before flood and so um, I was in the grocery store well, no, I really wasn't buying groceries. I was in Walmart. Elijah was getting his hunting license. And I was nearby in the craft section. I don't even know what I was looking for. But I saw this loom, a long loom. And I just thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make a scarf on that. And it was on clearance for $3. So I thought, well, for $3, if I don't... If I'm not able to use it, I'll pass it on to somebody else. So I got that and a skein of yarn. And I come home and just went straight to YouTube and started looking for some directions of how to use it, what to do. Um, and saying that, I'm thinking, I don't know. I never even looked at any papers in the box. <laughs> so um, I found a... YouTube video and started making that scarf and gosh it was turning out so pretty I was so proud of it uh, and I knew I wanted a very long scarf so I went back to Walmart and got about two more skeins of that and I think I ended up using two full skeins on that scarf so it was super long it was like crazy long <laughs> it's one of those wrap up like a blanket scarf and so, um, I just started knitting after that. I mean, it was just, I enjoyed it very much. And to be able to create something for people just gave me joy, you know? So the loom knitting actually kind of gave me a purpose in life again. So I really am glad that I stumbled across that. But I guess that's about all I got to say for now. So, we'll see how the day goes. You hear Sophia snoring. Sophia, I can hear you snoring. She's a little sport one. At night, she... She has to sleep under my pillow at night. I don't know. I, I figured, okay, when she first started that, I was like, okay, well, either I'll smush you and you'll move or whatever. And she doesn't mind. I mean, I at first I was kind of trying not to lay my head down too much, but you can't sleep and not lay your head down. <laughs> But so we have a pillow and she sleeps on that pillow and then my pillow. So I kind of scoot my pillow down a little bit, but she wants under my pillow. 
and that's where she sleeps and she snores very loudly and the funny part about that is my husband was thinking it was me and he kept making comments about me snoring and I was just like okay whatever I mean I don't know if I snore or not <laughs> and then um, he would make comments about how when he woke up I was snoring and all that and I was thinking I was awake I'm the one that woke you up because you can't hear your alarm clock and he kept making comments about you know me snoring when I know I was awake and was not snoring and then one morning um, he was awake and he was laying there and Sophia was snoring and I was awake but my back was to him and then I said something to him and we talked for a second Sophia kept snoring and he said is that you snoring I'm like no <laughs> it's Sophia and he said I thought it was you so yeah it was Sophia not me <laughs> I probably do snore but I know I don't snore when I'm awake. <laughs> oh. Alright. Well, I guess I better get off here and make sure I am keeping count of my rows here. Because every fourth row needs to be a different stitch. So I need to keep up with that. <laughs> but I hope you all have a great day. I hope you have good weather. And you're not in the path of the hurricane down in Florida. And I think Georgia might be getting some bad weather. And maybe even Alabama. I'm not sure who all's getting bad weather. But stay safe. And I hope all your loved ones are safe. And your fur babies. But I'll see you again later. Bye.